What's good everybody? Hope you're doing well. So I bought greedy derbies. <laughs> right, let me quickly elaborate a bit. So in terms of derbies, I actually only like really really like Carol derbies because of the pointed toe. I've never been a big fan of the the round toe caps. I know lots of people like it and I think it looks good on other people but I feel weird wearing them. I don't know why but it's I'm more of a pointed toe cap kind of person. Two kinds of people in this world, rounded or pointed. And that's why I've never had any Guidi derbies. Actually, I've never had anything from Guidi. As you know, I've dabbled with uh, the Guidi leather before, but I've never owned any Guidi product. Not because I don't like it, not at all. I think the craftsmanship is absolutely great. I think the leather quality is obviously really great. The vibes that they give is are really great. But I've never really, I don't re actually know. I've always been a big fan of the front zip. I mean, the PL2 is a bit, the heel is a bit too high for my personal taste. I think it looks good on others, but I probably would feel kind of weird with the heel that is a bit too high in my opinion. But the front zip look is really, really badass. And it's a cool like crossover between badassness, badassness with the front zip, but then the rounded toe shape gives it more like traditional vibes. And I think the combo is, is really, really cool. But yeah, never really got around to actually trying them. Maybe a quick word on, on sizing, right? I, I'm a true size 44, I would say. Maybe 43 and a half to 44. Everybody told me, okay, size up uh, one full size. And it's true, I think. For years, I was always 100% sure that I need a size 45, which is of course not as easy to get as 44, 43, 42, etc. But that's what I focused on. Now I bought the derbies, which I'll show you in a second. And they're a bit big, like they're not too big, but I might actually manage to fit a 44. I don't know if I, so let's say I'm a true size 43 and a half, then I would probably size up a half a size. I don't, I'm not sure, I don't rely on my sizing guide. It's so confusing for everybody probably. But yeah, that, that, that's my experience at least. So I bought those in a size 45. So bit of background to this. So as I said, I've never been a bit big fan of the rounded shape because it appears to me a bit clowny, if that's a word. My thought was, okay, if I buy clown shoes, I want even like a more exaggerated clown shoe. That would even, that would be cooler, I think. So I, I saw a pair on Grailed from um, Digi's Zero Auto, kind of a similar shape, but more, I would say, so roundness would be the same but they would be a bit higher here and then the color would change a bit so it appeared more bigger so more clownliness ish and that would actually be more appealing to me because it's a more extreme interpretation i think of that concept which i like but they were too small in size so i i didn't buy them they might be still up for sale I, i'll link them down below so you can check them out pretty cool shoe in my opinion but yeah i saw those listed local online platform basically uh, which i think they only operate in in germany it's called vinted I'm not sure they might be in europe europe wide i'm not sure but yeah so i saw those listed i was like okay pretty good deal price wise maybe this would be the first pair of of goodies i should buy and honestly like what the main selling point to me was the color right those might appear pearl white because of the harsh light but those are sort of like a cream of white color color that was a really really cool touch to me i think if those were black i probably even wouldn't have bought them even though obviously i prefer black but this is something that you don't see too often right obviously other avant-garde brands have the same color but i've never owned a, a any pairs of shoes with this with this color so it's kind of a good try i think and especially when you're wearing all black i think it's those pop but they're not too in your face sort of like from far away, they look like sneakers because they're just white and then you see, okay, they're actually leather shoes. So kind of a cool detail, I think. One thing that I also like is the way that you can lace those, right? They have super long leather laces, like super thin leather laces. And then you can wrap them around here, basically. Maybe a quick look on the inside. You can see that there's absolute craftsmanship there, leather insole which is hammered. And then here you have the sole. You can see size 45 tag here. And then you see the nails on the heel. 
beautifully stacked hill as well. And then you can see quite the chunky leather sole, not vibrant yet. I messaged the seller because he only put up pictures of the front and I was like a bit skeptical because he didn't take any pictures of the sole. So I messaged him and asked him uh, for pictures of the sole and he sent me the pictures and I was like, wow, they look, look kind of beaten on the sole. And I was quite happily surprised when I got them because I think they are not heavily beaten at all. So next step is I will put a Vibram sole on the bottom, so one on the heel and then one that will probably cut off somewhere here depending on uh, the cobbler. Usually when you buy those new, right, and you go, you wanna put a Vibram sole on or the, the gritty sole that they ship with, what happens is you go to the cobbler and they say, okay, we have to take off a bit of leather to put on the sole. So they either say, okay, either we take off the leather for you or you just wear it for a couple of months and then come back and it wears off and then we can put the sole on. So this is, uh, I think, quite the good timing now. I'll probably wear it, so I got those like a couple of days ago. I'll wear them for two weeks and then I'll put a sole on and I'm, I'm good to go. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy. I don't know what else to tell you. Quality is there. You can see it's all sewn here. Stacked heel. Good, 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 solid craftsmanship. And those can be had for a steel. Not gonna tell you what I paid, but it's it's a pretty good deal, I think. So the, so the only thing, I think they look pretty, pretty good when worn, like from the side when somebody walks towards you or from the side and sees you, they look pretty amazing. The only thing that really throws me off is when I look down and I see like the, the shape of the rounded toe box. But then when somebody else takes pictures of me, I'm pretty happy, so kind of, takes me a while, I think, to get used to them. But yeah, I mean, price-wise, super happy. Quality-wise, super happy. Love the color. So you have, you see, you have one spot here of dirt already. I wonder how, how much dirt they will attract over time. Probably a lot, but yeah, shouldn't hurt them. I don't know, pretty, pretty happy. Um, but yeah, let me throw in them all so you can get an idea on what they look like. So yeah, that's been it. That has been my first Gwitty pickup. Pretty happy. Smell good as well. Let me know down in the comments, are you a round toe cap kind of guy? Or gyal, or more of a pointed person? Do you think it was a good pickup? I think the color, do you like the color? That's probably the main thing that would interest me the most. Because for, to me, that's, if those were brown or black or whatever color, I think Burgundy would be cool as well. But I think white is definitely my number one choice. So pretty, pretty happy with those. I think I'll keep those forever. Hopefully I'll manage to get used to the rounded clown cap. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Right, if you did, smash the like button, abuse it, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.